Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to insert a picture in a shape. So let's say for example you have in your worksheet you, you wanted to introduce some shapes and add a little visual appeal to your worksheet. Maybe you have an invoice that you're creating for your Excel worksheet and you wanted to put your logo with a, in a circle or something in a triangle or some other odd shapes like this cube or a uh, thought or a thought cloud or maybe even some smart art. So I'll show you how to do that. Let me go ahead and uh, these are and these are examples. Let me go ahead and just show two examples. I'll, I'll show how to do this one and this one. So let's go into another sheet here and to insert a, another to insert a picture in a shape first you have to identify the shape and you go into the insert tab in the illustration and in the illustrations group go under shapes and let's insert that circle. So now I've got that selected it, I can just kind of draw it out. And once I've drawn it out, I just right click and go under the format shape and click on that and in the fill, right in the fill, select the picture and text fill. So once that's selected, you can click on the file button and it brings me into my folder where I have some pictures. Let me go ahead and get that picture where I had the satellite dishes. Yeah, let me choose this one. And I'm going to take, let me move this aside here. So I'm going to get rid of that line, that, that line color that's around there, so I don't want that. So I'll go ahead and click no line, click close, and there you have your picture. Now once you have your picture in your shape, or any picture, there's a lot of features now in Excel where you can modify things. So you can give it some artistic, let me move this over down here a little bit. You can give it some artistic effects if you want to get really fancy. There's these really neat artistic effects you can give it. Or you can adjust the color if you wanted to do some other type of uh, recoloring on your image. Or there's even these picture effects here, which are there's some presets where you can, if you don't want to go into trying to f modify it one by one, there's these presets here where you can do some things here. I think the one I chose for the other one was this preset four. But uh, you can see that there's a lot of different options. I mean, you can do this medallion, this preset here, or if you want to do something yourself, you can look at the shadow, look at the reflection. The reflection is always kind of cool. You can bring it up here, you can see a little reflection here. So there's a lot of things you can do there with modifying the shape, the picture in the shape once you get it in there. Now there's also this other way to do it and it's not really inserting a picture in a shape but once you inserted a picture you can put some, you can uh, use a smart art feature to modify it. So let me go ahead and insert a picture. Let me insert that jellyfish picture. Now this thing is very big, so let me go ahead and resize it. And then bring it up here. So once I resize this picture, and you, you notice it's not in shape, it comes from the default shape that it got copied in, and this is a rectangle. But we can put this picture into a picture layout using the SmartArt. So under, under the Format tab, you go into picture layout, there's all these smart art type of options that are available to you. So what you can do, please, what it enables you to do is put a picture and then add some text to it. What it lets you do is add these predefined shape text combinations. So the one I chose earlier was this hexagon combination, but you know there's a lot of other things that you can choose. This bubble, this bubble picture list looks a little interesting. So I can, that lets you add text. You can add the text here or you can open this up and you can add the text here. And we've added our jelly here and modified it a little bit. Oops, let me go and control Z to undo that. So you see there's different options and if you wanted to change the colors, you can change the colors around. You can change it to red or if you didn't like this option, you can change it to something else. So there's a ton of different ways you can do this. Ooh, that looked a little too spread out. Let me go ahead and change it back to this bubble. So there's a ton of things you can actually do with a picture once you get it into 
your Excel, you can modify it, make it look really neat. And you can use this in your logos if you're doing invoices or you just wanted to add some pizzazz to your imagery and your charts or whatnot. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.